happening today. Many state lawmakers are going to start making things right. They're holding a hearing to redraw Alabama's congressional districts and that map. 48's Megan Plaka joins us live in Huntsville this morning. So Megan, those lawmakers headed to Montgomery today, and this comes after the U.S. Supreme Court said that our current map is unconstitutional. These lawmakers have to get to work, Haley. The Supreme Court decided that the map likely violated the Voting Rights Act, and it's actually been really controversial. Ever since it was presented back in 2021, we've been following up with it ever since then. When it was first presented, it quickly became the center of a lawsuit. Plaintiffs argued it was drawn to minimize the impact of minority voters to just one district. The legal battle, of course, ended in the Supreme Court. The justices agreed and ordered the redistricting committee to re draw the map with a second majority black district. That redrawing process continues today and there's plenty of feedback already. The committee received over 100 map suggestions. One member of the redistricting committee, Representative Laura Hall, says they need to carefully review each map. I think that the, the thing to look at most is what how those maps have been drawn. Have they taken in consideration all of the things that the courts have indicated that should be and then are we as a state willing to follow the court's directive and be able and willing to draw the maps ourselves as opposed to having the maps being drawn by the courts. So the hearing is happening today but there will actually be a town hall here in Huntsville that's happening on Monday. Reporting live from Huntsville, Megan Plotka, WAFF 48 on your side.